Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Wednesday, April the 8th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have for me, you can use this email address. This is a link to get into our free room. It's 100% free. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our free room. The room is open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And I share my screen and I'm live on the mic. But remember, Friday, this Friday is a market holiday. Oh, man. Easter uh, Friday, so it's a market holiday on Friday. In the email you're getting, you will see a, a promo code for 15.15% off, either the first oh, month man. only or the entire year of a Trade Ideas subscription. Well, a lot better day for me in my watch list. Um, I made a decision last night. I, I think uh, what, what was happening, a couple of things happened. I had, I think, too many symbols in the watch list. Uh, you know, when I construct my watch list, I'm looking at a lot of different symbols. And I think I was putting in some kind of borderline ones and some of them were triggering, which wasn't giving a really good result. So I didn't have that many symbols in the watch list. And yet, even so, um, these are the ones oh, that man. triggered. Now, you'll see this one, this YCBD. And I said right from the get-go uh, that oh, I didn't man. really love this one. There was a trigger at 116. I didn't really oh, love man. it. Uh, because what it was doing is it wasn't... Oh man! And to me, this is such a low. This is a low float, fairly low float. It's thirty-five million in the float, but when it broke over a dollar, it just didn't keep running. And if you take a look at it on the maybe the weekly chart, yeah, you'll see this had a lot of room. If it could take out this this um, that area right there, right there on that weekly chart, one twenty-six. Look what it did today. It got almost right up to that point. If it had been able to take out 126 and you look left and there's a ton of room on that weekly chart. When I saw it oh, stalling man. in that 116, 117 area, not able oh, to man. really break oh, man. through, I thought, you know what? I just don't like it. So I exited that trade well before the actual stop. Okay, the stop was, I can't even remember where the stop was. Uh, I exited it, but I talked about that at length. I said, I don't like it, guys. I don't like it. And the minute it started doing this, I got out. Um, the MRSN, 870, look at this, uh, gets all the way up to 10. MITT got all the way up to, from 3, got all the way up to 350. NVAX, 1735, got up to 1826. This one was a disaster. Oh, I don't know man. what happened here. This was one actually I added in uh, from, oh, from man. market scanning. I didn't love it. Um, I added it when I saw this oh, candle man. and I almost took it out. Remember, this is all in the pre-market. And I said, you know what? I don't love, like the way this is trading. I mean, I had oh, a big man. pop up, but then a big, big pullback oh, in the pre-market. Usually oh, that can mean that, that, that the play is over. I left it in though, in, oh, in the man. watch list. I oh, man. added uh, from my pre-market scanning and it, it almost, oh, it, I think it stopped out almost immediately. I mean, it got, got the alert and then it stopped out almost immediately. And, but then the INSG has been my star for the day. Uh, INSG, there was the alert at 796 right here. And it has got all the way up to 886, almost a dollar. Um, I'm out most of it. You know, I've been selling some along the way. I'm out, I sold two, two areas along the way. Oh man. I'm out most of it, just holding on to see maybe if it can get through uh, this, air, this uh, nine. One really nice one from the AI that unfortunately I missed. I missed it because um, well, I, I, I wasn't paying enough attention, to be honest. There was the alert at 981. I should have been paying attention on the 10 break. Uh, but even here, I could have got in on that little pullback uh, right there and taking out that high. But again, I, I missed it. Um, so I'm doing a lot oh, of different man. things, unfortunately. But this is one that I really would have loved to have been in. Uh, because again, if you take a look at it on the, say, weekly chart, look at the room it's got. You know, when I always say room, I mean, look, look how, look, I mean, it, it, and, until, you know, at 1230 area, I'm not saying it's going to get there, but it has a chance to start to filling in this void, this gap. And so this will probably be on my watch list for tomorrow, you know, assuming that it holds this area. And uh, so it'll probably be on the watch list tomorrow. So that unfortunately was my miss uh, for, from the AI. It's the only one that, I, that was uh, really interesting uh, to me. All the other ones were over uh, $20. Except there was one, another one, and I'll just show you why I didn't like it. MGTA was also, and that's sort of, you know, in the price range GBX. I like. But look at the... Let's take a look at that on the weekly chart. Oh, man. Actually, on a daily chart might be... Oh, better. man. 
show you why I don't like it. Oh man. So look, look at the area right there, 714. So you get the alert at 671. I agree that if it could get up to seven, if you took it right at 671 and it could get up here, it's not a bad percentage move. I just don't like this. I don't like to see something like that, that, that is blocking it because I'd rather, I mean, imagine if you didn't oh, see man. this here and this would, all that was down here. Well, then when you'd be looking left, you'd see oh, nothing man. but, a, you know, this big, big gap, oh, big void area, kind of like on the XANT and the, um, I think the INSG. So, uh, you know, even though this is in my, my wheelhouse for what I like uh, from the AI, oh, man. I just don't like the, I don't, I don't like the daily chart. So consequently, I, I don't take it. Anyway, I absolutely want to get back into the room. I say I, I haven't traded very much. Uh, just a, oh, uh, man. But, you know, what I've traded has been from my watch list. I also made another change, uh, and you can do the same thing if you want to. I made a change. I have been delaying the alerts until oh, um, um, 10 o'clock. In other words, I put a 30-minute delay. Notice I'm oh, getting man. I got one at 9.49. Um, now, interesting. Yeah, it's interesting because even if I had delayed it to 10, it wouldn't really made that big, much of a difference today except for the MRSN. But I actually, uh, I only, I set the delay to 15. Uh, minute, so I will start getting the, the uh, alerts at 10, 9:40. No, no earlier than 9:45, but before it was no earlier than 10 o'clock. The reason I did that, now it might have been because of the mar the way the market was the last two days. Well, what I was seeing, what I was seeing is that stocks were, you know, if I wait to 10:30, and the way the market was for the last two days, early anyway, uh, you know, the market is just ripping higher and higher and higher. So when I was getting an alert at 10 o'clock, the stocks were already very extended. So I thought, okay, let's let's drop it back to uh, 15 minutes and see if I can catch, you know, uh, something that is not quite as as extended. So it worked out well today. Oh, and I'll man. keep it in for tomorrow and see what happens. All right, everybody, definitely want to get back into the room. So if you have any questions for me, you can use oh, this email man. address. Oh man! You should always oh, mention man. this if you oh, want to man. follow my watch list all day long from the toolbar. Just click on new. Oh man! Oh man! Uh, channel bar. And there I am right there, my windows. Remember, everything in a channel is a layout. So make sure you save your layout to the cloud before you do that. Because uh, if you oh, don't, man. you're going to lose your layout, which is okay. You can only have one layout loaded oh, at a time. Oh, so man. It's, it's, oh, man. So when I say lose your layout, it will replace it. But if you've saved it to the cloud, then it, you, know, you still have it. Okay, oh, so man. again, any oh, questions man. for me, this is the email address to use. This is a link to get into our free room in the email you're getting. You will see a promo code oh, man. for 15% oh, off. I will open the room tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Oh, man. I hope to see you in the room then. Bye-bye.